Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 mods video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually mod the game. I made a tutorial video a while back however quite a few things have changed since then and the modding community is seeing more and more new players every day. So why not make an updated tutorial for you guys. This process will work for pretty much every single mod out there but I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Battlefront 2022 today. Which is a mod I've gotten a lot of requests for help and is a huge expansion to the game. And just before we get into the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel, especially if you guys find this tutorial helpful. And also, I will be leaving links for all the downloads in the description down below. Alright, so let's get right into this. The first thing you're going to need to actually download mods in the Frosty Mod Manager is an extracting tool, which allows you to download and unpack files. My preferred software is called WinRAR, you can actually use a program called 7-Zip2 if you already have that downloaded. So you're just going to head over to the WinRAR page and press the download button towards the bottom and select Windows 64-bit or 32-bit depending on your system. Down in the bottom left of your browser, you're going to open the download file and start the setup process and basically just press OK to everything and WinRAR will be downloaded and ready to use. Next up, I would also recommend just making a folder on your desktop and title it Battlefront 2 Mods or something, just to keep all of your downloads organized. So now we are going to download the Frosty Mod Manager, and this is the program you will be using to install and play mods with Battlefront 2. Head over to the Frosty page, and press the download button under the manager. We are downloading Frosty Beta 4 today, and same as before, you should see a download file pop up on the bottom left of your screen and this time it should show up as a WinRAR file. Now, our next step is going to be opening the file explorer and going to the downloads tab, and you should see the frosty file you just installed. Take that file and drag it into the Battlefront 2 mods folder we just made earlier. Going into that folder, right click on the frosty file and press extract all or extract files here. And it should install a whole new frosty mods folder with a bunch of files in it. However, we are only concerned with one of those files, and it's the Frosty Mod Manager application. So go ahead and open that. And you might get an alert from Windows saying to not run the file, but go ahead and select Run anyway, as the files here are 100% safe, I can guarantee it. Now, once in the Frosty Mod Manager, you want to press the New button in the bottom right corner, and find out where your game is installed. For me, I have it through Origin, so it's going to be under C Drive, Program Files x86, Origin Games, and Star Wars Battlefront 2. And you want to click on the Battlefront 2 application and select Open. And I'll leave the possible install paths for Steam and Epic users on the screen. And once Battlefront 2 is in the Mod Manager, highlight the game and press Select in the bottom right corner. And now we are finally in the Mod Manager for Battlefront 2, and we're finally ready to download some mods. Our next stop is the Nexus Mods website where you will find every mod for Battlefront 2 ever made. So feel free to search around for some mods you might like, but right now we are only interested in one, and that is Battlefront 2022. So use the search bar in the top right and just type in 2022 and you should see it come up. On this page you're going to scroll down to the Files tab and press the Manual Download button. Keep in mind you will have to make an account for Nexus Mods which is entirely free. Once you press the manual download, you're going to press slow download and wait for it to install, and it is a rather large mod, so be patient and it will finish downloading soon. So once your file is downloaded, head back to the mod manager and press the add mods button in the top left corner and import the Battlefront 2022 file you just downloaded and press open. And now you should see two files on the left side of the mod manager. You're going to want to click on these files and press the apply mods button at the top and make sure you put the cosmetics file in first otherwise the mod just won't work properly. And once that's done you're pretty much ready to start playing with mods. Just press the launch button in the top left of the mod manager and your game will start after it's done applying the mods and this will also take some time so just be patient. And once the game loads your mods will be activated and you're ready to play. And keep in mind this tutorial showed you how to play offline. If you want to play online, you'll need the Instant Online Improvements mod as well, which I will leave a link for in the description down below. 
but it can be installed using the exact same process we just did for the 2022 mod. And if you need a more in-depth video on how to use the Kyber private servers in order to play online, check out my video on that. And lastly, if you're playing on Steam or Epic Games or just having problems in general, you might need one more download called Frosty Fix. Simply download the file using the link in the description down below, open up Frosty Fix and select your game as Battlefront 2 and what platform you're using it on. And then press launch with mods enabled and you should be good to go. If you guys are having any issues even after this tutorial, I'm also going to leave a link to the Kyber and the Battlefront 2022 Discord servers down below where there are tons of helpful people who will sort out your problems in no time. So there you have it guys, that's how you install Battlefront 2022 and pretty much any other mod for Battlefront 2. If this mod helped you at all, please hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to know whenever I drop a new video. Thank you so much for watching and take care of yourselves.